Hi, Stockmaster fans. We're going to watch something called Cherry Hill High. Let's check it out. This film features uh, five high school girls, or just postgraduate high school girls. This one's into art. She's got some uh, interesting figurines, too. This one's into chemistry. So they're taking some sort of nature class with a teacher, Mrs. Woodruff. No wonder I'm here so far from civilization. <laughs> and over there, that grove of saplings springing from tiny nuts. They are now erect and growing. Isn't nature wonderful? <laughs> We're going to be camping out for a couple weeks. Me too. What in the hell are we doing out here? Yeah. Eight months locked up in an all-girl school. Are we going to tack on another two weeks on an all-girl biking tour? <laughs> this Woodruff, the virgin surgeons, the biology department, the sh Apparently they're all virgins, <laughs> if you can believe that. <laughs> So they don't want to be virgins, so what are they going to do? Not. We're Cherry Hill Girls. When we do it, it'll be original. Wait, that's it. We'll have a contest. A contest? Yes, to see who can lose it in the most original way. Oh. Now their teacher overheard this conversation. Girls, I'm going to have to talk to you very seriously. You know, I'm not one to eavesdrop, but I couldn't help overhearing your conversation last night. And I must say... I can hardly believe my ears. It's made me seriously reconsider the manner in which we shall have to conduct this trip. I can see I'm going to have to take you girls firmly in hand. You need to be taught a lesson. And it's up to me to teach you. Girls of your age and your opportunities, I'm shocked, shocked, to discover that all of you are still virgins. So she's going to support this activity. <laughs> At the first Beatles concert at Shea Stadium. Gosh, are you that old? Well, all right, girls. Let's talk about the ground rules. Now we've got two weeks on this trip, so that's the time limit. <laughs> okay, you guys, I guess that's it. Everybody shake hands and come on humping. Cherry Hill, Cherry Hill, will we do it? Yes. So this is Kippy. She's the first girl up. She meets a guy who's involved in some sort of shark fighting show. Let's do it. Let's do it. And she's going to offer to do it with him in the water with a shark. Well, apparently her hymen broke and the blood attracted the shark, so this dude has to kill us. And she gets graded by her peers. Now the next girl up is Peaches. And she gets picked up by this guy on a motorcycle. She's all in. But the big reveal here, he is a she. Can't show you much more of this scene. But it happens with her friends watching. Since it's with a girl, they question whether or not it counts. Count for the contest. I mean, technically, what did you do exactly, Peaches? 
Uh, Allison meets this guy, Larry, oh, sure. who she kind of likes. I understand. They kind of respect you. He works on the power lines. Just don't walk out on that kind of commitment. Besides, it'll be a hell of a lot of fun. You're darn right it will. They meet this guy and invites him to his house, but it's kind of like a haunted house. This is Michelle, the French foreign student. Absolutely nothing to be scared of. Now you just wait right here. And she's gonna be hooked up with the guy. And she does hook up with him in a coffin, and he's in a sheet. And she was screaming, "A ghost with a heart on! A ghost with a heart on!" They went to some car races, and uh, one of the girls got with this guy after his car crash. And it's happening there in a car for her as they get pulled away. Certainly original. But her peers don't think so since it happened in the back seat of a car, which is pretty typical. Hey, you guys, that's nowhere. I broke my ass for that. I was out there with my mom that flying tin, and I did it in the back seat of a car. Is that your idea of originality? <laughs> they stop at a winery, and uh, Mrs. Woodruff goes in. Meanwhile, the girls play with their squirt bottles, which is going to lead to a lot of boobies, which I can't show you. But I can show you that Miss Woodruff got laid, too, in the winery, in a pile of grapes. Meanwhile, at the local shopping center, they might meet a guy in a chicken suit. This has Sarah written all over it. I guess it's part of a game show or something. It's like a let's make a deal type of TV show. And meanwhile, Sarah and the Chicken Man. Meanwhile, Allison is the only one who hasn't gotten laid yet. What kind of stupid council president will let some, some silly sentimental feeling about a boy stand in the way of getting laid by a freak? So that night, they get visited by an alien. Now at one point, Allison had turned down Larry's advances. And now, Allison is about to get taken by this alien. But we have a big reveal. It's Larry. You never give up, do you? This. Isn't this originally enough for you yet? No, I mean, I don't want it to be like this with you, all gimmicky and weird. I want it to be normal and, and beautiful. I don't want to be part of the contest anymore. I can't show you a lot of this scene either, but they do make love. So somehow they end up on a boat. This is for you. You're the winner. How was it, Allison? What happened? Nothing happened. Nothing? Nothing? What are you talking about? Nothing happened, that's all. I can't take this. But Allison, we thought for sure that we were friends. Miss Woodruff has the final decision, though. I'm proud of you. But the winner is... <gasps> Allison! Allison! Allison win. I mean, I can see Michelle and Sarah, but Allison said she didn't even do anything. And even if she did, with Larry? Ooh. Yeah, Larry? Especially because she did it with Larry. With a telephone line, then? With plain old Larry? Plano Larry, I happen to know a little bit more about him than you all do. All right, let's talk about this movie called Cherry Hill High. Great title, right? 
So anyway, there's no real high school here. We have five girls. Here's the plot of this movie. We have five girls. They're probably just graduated, I think. They're like 18. And they're going on some sort of, I don't know, bike ride nature course thing over, it's supposed to last a couple of days, a couple of weeks, I don't know, with their teacher, Mrs. Woodruff. So we have five sexy young girls and uh, their teacher. So uh, it turns out none of the girls, when they talk to each other, none of the girls have ever had sex before. They all reveal that they're virgins and they decide to have a contest. Hey, let's see who can lose their virginity in the most original way. And uh, the teacher overhears this and says she's shocked can't believe all you girls are virgins. So she says, I'm in. So she promotes this. So anyway, the next thing you know, we see each one, each one of these five girls have sex. The first girl, the girl's name is Kippy, um, has sex with this guy who's a shark fighter, a guy who fights sharks. So they go in this swimming pool and they, she loses her virginity in there. But then because her hymen broke, I guess, there's some blood that came out. So the shark came after them and, oh boy, yeah, he had to stab the shark to save her, I guess. Uh, and then they had a girl who got picked up by this biker dude. It turns out the dude was a dudette and um, they had sex in the woods. There was some debate whether or not she actually lost her virginity because it wasn't, she wasn't deflowered as the teacher said. Um, uh, and then there was one girl who had sex in the back of a race car. It was going another girl who had sex in a chicken suit with this guy who was part of a game show or something like let's make a deal. I don't know. All along this movie, there's this other guy and uh, this girl named Allison who's after who this other guy named Larry who's like this phone operator guy or he he likes work on works on phone lines outside. He kind of likes is following them around and stuff. He is like falling for Allison somehow, even though they barely have any contact with each other. So they end up falling in love together and they lose their virginity or he loses or she loses her virginity to him in like a very normal way. Um so ultimately in this movie the teacher decides which one of the girls did it best and she she wars it to Allison because Allison did it the right way by falling in love. And that's kind of how our movie ends. Oh, one of the girls, Michelle, this foreign exchange student from France, lost her virginity to a ghost. A ghost with a heart on. A ghost with a heart on, she was saying. Um, he wasn't really a ghost. They were just in this haunted house type thing, and he had a sheet on. So, And there's one other girl whose name escapes me at the moment. I can't remember how she lost her virginity, but whatever, right? Actually, they were all kind of original, except for Allison, but... Wow. So anyway, that's the movie. So Cherry Hill High, not available on DVD, only on VHS. I burned this DVD-R from the VHS that I have. Uh, the the box I have was uh, has Ginger Lynn Allen on the front. She introduced the film, um, part of some collection she was involved with. I don't know. She's not in the movie by any means. Um, the director of this movie did another movie called Cheerleaders Beach Weekend or something like that. Came out about the same time as this one. I don't have that movie, but I damn it, I should, right? Most of these girls didn't do anything else but this movie. I don't know how how these things get made, where these girls come from, why they're willing to get naked for a camera and the only movie they ever do. I don't know, but power to them, right? Anyway, the girls were pretty enough and uh, there was ample nudity in this movie and uh, it's pretty much the only reason to watch this garbage. So anyway, Cherry Hill High. Anybody else ever watch this thing? If not, find it. Watch it. Let, check it out. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments down below. Cherry Hill High. Watch it. Bye.